Alrighty, gang, we're going to evaluate the integral of sine x divided by e to the 2x, and this is a sneaky integral because there's a trick that you might not be expecting. Now, we're going to solve this using integration by parts, which is the most popular method, but there is a different way to do this that I prefer, but watch this way, see what you think, and then watch the way that I prefer to do it, and you can decide which method you like better. Okay, we're going to set u equal to sine of x. That means dv is everything else, e to the negative 2x dx. This is negative because here it's in the denominator, so I just made it a negative. If we take the derivative, du equals cos x dx, and if we integrate, v becomes negative e to the negative 2x divided by 2. Okay, so we'll take these and plug it into the integration by parts formula to get this right here. This is u times v minus the integral of v du. Now v is negative, so this negative cancels out with this minus here to make it positive right here. Now it looks like this didn't help, right? We just took this integral and exchanged it for another one that's almost the same, except we have a cos here instead of a sine. But what we're going to do, and this is the trick, we're going to do integration by parts again believe it or not, <laughs> and we're going to do it in the same way. So we'll set u equal to cos of x, because we have a cos here now. dv is everything else, so e to the negative 2x divided by 2 dx. If you take the derivative, du equals negative sine x dx, and if we integrate, v equals negative e to the negative 2x divided by 4. If we take this and use the integration by parts formula into here, we get... This right here, this left-hand side, this is the integral we're trying to evaluate. This term comes along for the ride. And now for here, we get u times v. So it's u times v, which is what we got right here. It's negative, minus the integral of v du. And both of these v's, the v and the du are both negative, so those cancel to make it positive uh, right here. And at this point, look at these two terms. This term is the same as this term. So we'll multiply the whole thing by 4 and combine the terms. Terms, and what that gives us is we now have five of these. Five equals, we multiply by four, so this, this we have a two up top, negative two e to the negative two x sine x, multiplied by four, so this four is gone right here, plus our in integration constant right here, we can't forget that. And to get this integral now, my friends, we simply divide by five and factor out the five as well, just for fun, and we're done. <laughs> Ha, yo, there is an easier way that I prefer. Check that out. Strongly recommend checking it out. I think it's really, really cool. It makes the integral a lot easier. You can survive.